I'm a professor of uh, physics. I'm working at Uppsala University in uh, Sweden. I'm now what is called emeritus professor, but I'm still working there. My um, research field is, well, it's materials physics, and in particular what I've been working on is physics of the indoor environment, which may seem like a very strange field for a physicist. But it isn't, because look where we are. We are indoors something like between 80 and 90% of our time, inside buildings or inside vehicles. So really the physics of this most common environment, I think is a very interesting thing to study. We are developing materials, devices for controlling the amount of light that comes into buildings, so it's uh, energy efficient and comfortable. And we're working with air to study the air quality. And I should tell you that the indoor air is full of all kinds of nasty things. The reason I'm so happy that I've been able to collaborate with the university here is that uh, there are expert uh, competence in uh, how to analyze and how to study uh, air quality, gas sensing, and how to analyze the output because the information we get from these sensors is very often noisy. There's a lot of disturbances. And how do we pick out the essential information from uh, this, uh, this information we get from our sensors. My main contact over the years, Professor Janus um, Smulku, who is now as is well known here, a very important person at this university. So we have collaborated for something like uh, 15 years. We've been exchanging uh, students. Students have been at our place. Our students have been here. So it's been a very fruitful collaboration that has gone on and which has also involved uh, other researchers in other parts of the world. Because, I mean, research, the way that we do it and the way it's done here, it's really, really a truly international endeavor. We need to find the best partners. We need to find partners uh, in the world that we can work with to, in order to, together, get good research results. We are both uh, international universities. I mean, we are, we are not looking inwards to only to our own countries. We are looking outside. I mean, research in most fields, and certainly in the natural sciences, is a truly international endeavor. So it would be very strange if we did not look outside and if we did not uh, try to be international. And I'm sure here, just as in Sweden, I mean, it's not, well, of course, it's bilateral, and that's, I mean, what we are talking about here, but it's also multilateral. And what has happened in Sweden, and I'm sure also here, that during the last 10, 20 years, there's been a very steady inflow of students also from other countries, from Asia, in our case, also from Africa and South America. So, I mean, science is truly international in both Gdansk and in Uppsala at my own university. There's in particular one thing that I really like here, and that is the students get a very good basic training. They know the fundamentals, I would say, more than at many other places basic training of the PhD students. I mean, what they have with them when they go into PhD studies, I would say in many cases is better than what the Swedish students have. So, yeah, and it's in fact, it's this, um, I would say Eastern European tradition, looking more at the fundamentals than we do now in the West. In the West now, we, we are much too focused on getting directly to making some kind of products and doing this and that. We forget about the foundation that we stand on. But if we don't have that good foundation, we can't build the applications. So I think we have forgotten something important, something that is still here. And I just hope that in Poland it will not go the same way. We will just remember that we need to stand on something solid in order to build something for the future. I think we should value and cherish 
the, the, the difference is it's by not being identical that we can really do something good together. If people here had been doing the same thing and being the same as in Sweden, why should we collaborate? So we should be happy about the, the, the cultural differences. Mm -hmm.